Hi, my name is Joey Ricardo. I'm the technical manager for EpiRock surface and exploration drilling. In this segment, I want to discuss navigating a drill plan effectively. It might seem obvious, however, when looking at a drill plan, there are many different ways we can approach it. And depending on the type of machine and the type of environment we're working in, it can really speed things up or slow things down. So it makes sense to take a moment and to really think about the most efficient way to approach. In this case, we're going to assume that all of the holes are vertical and that they're all being drilled to the same depth. Looking at this, we never want to have the cabin door facing an open ledge. So in this case, the jagged line indicates an open face. So coming through and navigating this way to drill this hole wouldn't be very good. It puts the operator in harm's way. So we want to come in with a much more open angle. But if we were to come in this way and start here, we can work backwards, but we then trap ourselves from drilling this hole. If we come up to here, maybe the best way would be as we come in, we drill this hole first, and then we back up to this hole, drill this one, move forward to this hole, move backwards to this hole, and then we can reapproach coming in straight to this hole and then to this hole. Doing that, we're not running over any already drilled holes, and we're also opening ourselves up to working more efficiently and working back away from the face. The other way we could do this would be to come over to this side. The same challenge is presented though, if we come straight to this corner with the cab side facing this way, the door is pinched between the high wall and the cab door, not giving the operator a good way out. So that might not be a good option. These are just some things we want to think about. Other things to consider when navigating the drill pattern are where will the dust collector cuttings be, both at the primary cyclone and the main dust collector housing. For instance, when drilling this hole, we want to make sure that we don't cover this hole with the dust collector at the rear of the machine. So knowing your machine and the angles and where the dust collector cuttings might drop is a good thing to know, especially if we're talking about an already drilled hole. For instance, if we drilled this hole first, then this hole second, and then this hole third, we would run the risk of either collapsing this hole by tramming over it or filling it with cuttings from this hole. And a few tips and tricks. One thing we want to keep in mind is keeping the pattern squared up as we work to keep things uniform and tidy. Sometimes blasting plans change, and if we can take that into account, that's a good idea. The other thing we want to do is make sure that we're maximizing our reporting, gathering data, taking good notes, and filling out the drill log. This leads to a better bench in the future and better drilling conditions for us to work in in the future. For more information or with any questions, always feel free to reach out to your local Epiroc Service Center or our distributor partners.